Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the keyword optimization module in Sensor Tower. To get started, make sure that your app is selected at the top. If it's not selected, you can click on the drop down menu to select it. Or if it's a new app, click on the green Add New App button. Then select the keyword optimization module from the menu on the left side. Now enter your keywords exactly as you would enter them in the iTunes Connect keyword field. You can either enter them manually here, or you can click on the load button, which will give you two options. The first option is to load your iTunes Connect keywords directly from iTunes. If you have linked your iTunes account to Sensor Tower, you'll be able to upload your existing keyword list automatically. You can also access the history of the previous keyword list that you have optimized if you need to go back and make some changes. For this example, I'm just going to enter a list of keywords manually. When I click on the Optimize button, I will be given suggestions on how I can improve my keyword list. The first place to look is the suggestions section. This will show you all the different ways that you can improve your keyword list. Under the keyword entry field is a color coded list of the keywords that you entered. Green means that it's a good keyword. Orange means it's okay, but it could be better. And red means it should definitely be removed. So if you put your mouse over any of these keywords, we'll show you if this keyword checks out or why we think it could be better or why it should be removed. So in the case of these orange keywords, this keyword might be too long. Uh, this keyword is already in singular and plural form. And if we look at one of these red keywords, we can see that this keyword, for example, is already in the company name, so it should not be included. So if you want to remove any of these keywords, just click on these color-coded keywords, and they will be taken out of your list. On the right side, you'll see a real-time keyword character count. So this will show you how much of your 100 characters you're using right now. And this will allow you to add some keywords if you're running a little low. Now that you've removed keywords from your list and you need to add more back in, we also provide suggested potential keywords. If you scroll down a little, on the left side you'll be able to see the characteristics of the keywords you entered, and on the right side we suggest some keywords that you could add to your list. To remove a keyword from the Entered Keywords section, click on the minus symbol on the left side of each keyword. If you want to track this keyword in the Keyword Rankings module, you can click on the Track Keyword button, or you can click on the Track All Keywords button at the bottom. To add any of these suggested keywords to your keyword list, just click on the plus symbol next to each keyword. If there are keywords that you want to remove from the suggested potential keywords list, click on the trash icon on the right side of each keyword. If you have any questions on how to choose keywords based on difficulty score and traffic score, be sure to read the three-step tutorial on how to select iOS keywords on our blog. So that's how you use the keyword optimization module in Sensor Tower. It makes it really easy to optimize your iTunes Connect keyword list. Log in right now and give it a try. Thanks for watching.